Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and welcome to another mega gadget collection. And this is a gaming special. So I've got a whole host of gaming related peripherals to share with you today. Now before I start this video, I will let you know that there are links to all of these products underneath the, in the video description and there are also shortcut links. So if you wanna see a specific product, you can actually click a shortcut link and just watch the portion of the video about that particular product. I hope you watch it all of course because there are some really great products here. There are also links in the video description to where you can buy the products as well. Now before I actually start this mega gadget gaming collection, I've got one other thing to share with you and that is that in the UK, it has been extremely hot over the past couple of weeks. Swelteringly hot and I was gonna actually record this yesterday but it was just too hot to actually sit in the chair and present to you. It wouldn't have been a pretty sight with me melting in this chair. And I actually got sent a product probably about a week ago from Maplin Electronics. And it was a good solution to uh, cooling the air, but without the expense associated with dedicated air conditioning. So I'm gonna show you that now. It's sitting just out of shot here. So I'm gonna show you what I've been using uh, early on today just to cool the room before I started recording this video. So this is it. I will again put a link in the video description to the actual product page for this, but this is uh, a portable sort of air conditioning unit. And actually I should rephrase that. It's not an air conditioner, it's more of an air cooler. And what you do is round the back here, and I've left this unplugged so that I could sort of scoot it round into a position where you can see the back. We've got a filter here, We've also got at the bottom a uh, pull-out drawer. If I actually pull this out, you can see that inside here there is water. So you fill this up to a particular level and then you get these two ice packs that you put in your freezer and then you can pop the ice packs in the water to lower the temperature of the water. And then if I turn this around again, you can see the front of the unit. We've got a really large area here that pushes out cool air and some really nice controls on the top. It can also act as a heater. I should tell you that there's a control here on the front where you can switch it from warm to cool air. So you could use this in the winter as well. And then we've got controls here uh, for cool air, uh, an Anion setting, which I, I haven't researched. It didn't tell me what it was in the instructions, which is a bit of a disappointment. Uh, tell me in the comments below, my, my lack of knowledge, what is Anion? No idea. Onion? Got no idea on that one. But anyway, there's also a swing uh, setting. And the swing setting, these little fins on the front move, so it actually pushes the air around from left to right. And then you've got another rotary control here, again with an anion setting, a fan setting, off, low and high. And then we've got three speed controls here as well and an off button. These are like clicky buttons to click in and out to set the various speeds. Now. It's a pretty good unit. It is quite noisy when it's on, uh, so I can't have it on whilst I'm recording. You really wouldn't be able to hear me that clearly. So it does encroach on a peaceful room, but it is nice to actually just cool the atmosphere down um, and get some sort of normal temperature back in the room. So it's a pretty good product. It's not as good as a dedicated air conditioner, but I think these come in at round about, I think they're about either 50 or 60 pounds, which is very, very good value for money. And this is from Maplin Electronics. So there we go. So a nice way of keeping cool without spending hundreds and hundreds of pounds on an air conditioner. And I think it might be a wise choice actually, because certainly in the UK, the summer never lasts really very long. So spending maybe 500 pound on air conditioning to be sort of, installed in maybe one room, it might even be more expensive than that, um, is a lot of money to spend just for two, maybe three weeks of the year. So good option there. Now I'm gonna make you wait a tiny bit longer before I move on to the products, and that's because I actually got sent some postcards from viewers and also a little gift. I'm gonna do the postcards first. You can see the gift just here, and it's very, very cool. But anyway, these are the postcards. I've got this one here, look at this. Very, very cool uh, picture. It says, hey, my name is Jay. I run a channel called Jay's World of Cards. I'm a magician, but I'm a huge tech fan as well. Your channel is awesome. Keep it up. And if you get time, I would love to chat to you sometime, Jay. Thank you very much, Jay. I really do appreciate these postcards and it's nice to hear from you. Next one, 
we've got a picture here, you can guess who this is from, Techcast UK. Hello Dave, been watching your videos for a few years now and have loved every single one. You are one of my main reasons uh, I created my own technology channel and reviewing website, Billy at Techcast UK on Twitter and YouTube is Techcast UK. So thank you very much, Billy, I really do appreciate that. And the last one is a picture of someone set up. Good to see someone rocking the Mac Mini. We've got some Logic speakers here, an HP monitor and a little uh, Apple keyboard. Very, very cool setup. This is what the setup looks like. I like to see pictures of setups actually. Bear that in mind. If you want to send me a postcard, something with your setup in, very, very cool for me to look at. Thank you for all the advice on the Mac Mini. Love the videos. Keep up the great work from Joe at jojo underscore briscom on twitter if you want to follow joe on twitter and i can actually remember joe tweeting me about i think it was about screens to go with his mac mini and i gave him some advice not to actually buy an hd tv for the mac mini i think i'm remembering the right conversation and it looks like he's gone for an hp led backlit monitor so really nice setup nice to hear from you joe and then last but not least i got sent a letter uh, which is really nice and also this now I love my domos I use little domo characters when I'm doing my camera tests you'll see see them in lots of my camera tests and look I got sent a large domo with geeky glasses on and I genuinely absolutely love this I really do love it it is going to stay in my collection I'm going to have to pop it off camera for now but I'm going to pop it up on my shelf somewhere uh, for future sort of use and enjoy looking at it. I just love it. I absolutely love it. And I've got a letter with it as well. It says, Dave, I've been viewing your channel for some time now, and I have to say, you by far the best tech reviewer on YouTube. That is really kind of you to say. Thank you for your hard work. You truly are dedicated not only to tech, but your fans. I know I have learned a lot from you. Keep up the awesome job. Cheers, Darren. Now, I'm not going to read out your surname, just in case you don't want me to, but thank you very, very much, Darren. I really do appreciate it, and very, very kind of you to send me the domo as well. So that's it for the sort of housekeeping side of things. Uh, if you want to send me postcards or any little sort of gifts, I do have an Amazon wish list. I also have an address, and I also have a postagram link in the video description, so check that out. On to the products. I've kept you waiting long enough, way too long. And these are all gaming peripherals. I'm going to start at the front here with this keyboard. This is an awesome, awesome keyboard from Steel Series. Oh, it weighs a ton as well. I'm going to just pop that on my lap and show you the product packaging first. So this is the Apex Raw gaming keyboard. Very, very cool packaging and some awesome features on this. Let me just pop that over there and actually show you this. This is a, obviously a USB keyboard, USB connection hardwired into the back of the keyboard, and it's very, very low profile. Look at the design on this. Very, very sleek and a really nice angle. Um, we've got nice sort of rubber feet on the bottom as well, uh, so it's not gonna slip around on your desk. And it's a full-size keyboard with lots of dedicated keys as well. If I just pop that up a little bit closer for you, um, it's got white illumination as well of eight levels of intensity and it's also got 34 more ways to win apparently and that's down to the 17 macro keys which have got two layers as well and there's also because it's a gaming keyboard on the uh, W key just here so you've got when you're playing games you've got W, A, S and D sort of in that sort of combination you use those for moving around in many many games and there's little sort of raised dimples on the W key so if you're concentrating on the screen you can locate the W key really easily and then we've got the macro keys lined up across the top there and obviously a full size numeric keypad and a different shape spacebar on this one something I've not seen before on a keyboard is this shape spacebar so rather than the elongated spacebar it's a really large area I think that's a good idea because it means when you're playing you can tap that with your thumb nice and easily. You've got a larger sort of tapping area. So really, really nice. It's very, very comfortable to actually type on. The, the, the keys have got a very, very good amount of feedback, a nice amount of travel as well on the keys. 
and it's just really nicely laid out. And then you've got all of these macro keys that I mentioned, 17 macro keys that you can assign various shortcuts to, uh, to aid in your gaming. And of course you've got that really bright uh, sort of white coloring as well to the, uh, to the actual keys. Very, very cool. It is absolutely superb. And I love the fact that um, this is just such a low profile keyboard. It just, it's just really nicely made, very, very solid. I've never actually handled a SteelSeries keyboard before. I've used their mice before, um, and of course their headphones, but never actually used one of their keyboards. So this is the Apex Raw from SteelSeries. So if you're in the market for a really low profile and nice keyboard, check this one out. So I'm gonna put that back on the desk there and move on to the next product and I'm going to actually do a mouse next and again it's a steel series mouse this is the product packaging it's called the Sensei Raw limited edition ergonomic ambidextrous shape programmable illumination so it's got illumination on here uh, it's got on off pulsation intensity gaming grade switches eight buttons seven programmable buttons and it looks absolutely superb and it's backed up by the steel series uh, sort of control software as well so it really does work very well now it's not a cordless mouse it's actually a wired mouse again like the apex keyboard so usb connection this is what the mouse looks like very very ergonomic it's a nice sort of not low profile mouse but not one of those big huge mice that sort of come up too high I've got medium sized hands and it fits really, really nicely in the hand. I'm gonna give you a close up of this. We've got the scroll wheel here, which has got a slight ratchet mechanism on it. We've also got another button here. We've got buttons on this side. We've got buttons on the opposing side that are programmable. Obviously your left and right mouse buttons as well, which again, nice amount of travel, just right. And this really nice sort of white gloss finish and then a more of a matte sort of plastic on the side. So it just feels really nice when in, in use. It's very, very smooth glide plates on the bottom and a, just a nice quality gaming grade mouse. Very, very cool mouse. This is the Sensei Raw limited edition from Steel Series. So again, if you're in the market for a good quality gaming mouse without spending too much money, because these are very, very reasonably priced, check this one out. Love the white color as well, obviously for obvious reasons, you know why I like the white color. Next up is another mouse, <clears throat> this time from Logitech, and this is the G700S, rechargeable MMO gaming mouse. So it's rechargeable uh, and data over a single cable. It's got five onboard memory profiles, 15 programmable buttons, advanced surface coatings, on the flight adjustable DPI, and that's from 200 to 8200 DPI. A dual mode scroll wheel, one millisecond report rate, wired and wireless, and buttons rated up to 20 million clicks. That is a lot of clicks. So that's what the packaging looks like. I didn't show you around the back. The back hasn't actually got much on it, but just some details on the back. Oh, and some more specifications on the side. Um, it says here, uh, USB data formats, format 16 bits access, 1,000 reports per second, max speed up to four meters per second. I don't, I don't quite get those specs. I'm going to be honest with you. I know why they put them on there because they like you to rate them against other other mice. But four meters per second is that me moving it four meters per second? The character on the screen. Anyway, moving on. This is the mouse itself and it is a nice mouse. I'm gonna give you a close up look at it. So stand up time again. We've got really, really nice ergonomics on this mouse. Now the Steel Series mouse in the background here, where is it? Just there, that I showed you a minute ago. Slightly lower profile than this. This is quite slightly higher, still nice and comfortable and more of a shape to this mouse. So I'll give you sort of a top down view. You can see it's sort of really sort of shaped for right handed use. So whereas the Steel Series mouse left or right-handed, with this one, I really think just right-handed use on this one. We've got this dual mode click wheel on the top here. We've also got programmable buttons here. We've also got buttons on the side. 
and we've got LED feedback, I'll just show you that quickly. LED feedback on the side for various modes and charging as well, so how much battery is left in here. And then of course you've got programmable buttons on the side, and then the normal left right mouse buttons, I like to give you this view on them. About the same amount of travel as the Steel Series one, uh, but slightly less, I would say very slightly less travel on the left and right mouse buttons, but pretty much the same. On the bottom, uh, more glide plates, uh, but it feels pretty much the same tracking as well as the Steel Series one. Uh, no smoother um, or no sort of more uh, sort of uh, friction on this. It's, it's about the same. And then we've got an on-off button because this is a wireless mouse. Uh, you charge it via cable that goes in the front here, and uh, on-off button to save battery life. So you can flick that across to the off position when it's not in use. And it's a really comfortable mouse, very, very smooth to use on your desk. And again, because it's got all the dedicated buttons and the really nice ergonomics, it is ideal for MMO gaming. And this is the Logitech G700S. So well worth checking out that if you're into your gaming. Now, next up, we're gonna go back to another keyboard. So I've got another keyboard to show you. And Whereas the uh, Steel Series one I showed you is low profile, uh, this one is from Logitech. Let me just move some boxes around. This one's from Logitech, and this is their G19S. Now, I know it's not about the packaging, but I do love the styling of the packaging on this one. This has got 12 programmable G keys, three macros per key, so that's 36 functions in total whereas the SteelSeries one was 34. It's got a game desktop mode switch, so you can disable the Windows context menu keys. It's also got a color gamer panel, so an adjustable display for in-game stats and custom color backlighting. It's also got cable management, dedicated media controls, and two powered USB ports. So this is what the packaging looks like. Let's pop that to one side and show you the actual keyboard and it's a little bit heavier than that steel series one i showed you we've got a built-in sort of cable here and you do get extra cables in the box as well and this is the usb connection and then we've also got uh, what looks like a power connection as well and then we've got a very very different sort of setup here let me just show you the bottom we've got little flick out feet on the bottom so these flick out to give you more of an angle on the actual keyboard. And we also got some rubberized feet on the keyboard as well. And then I'm gonna to have to stand up again. This is what the keys look like. So we've got the full size numeric keypad and then moving across. And then we've got the uh, little triangle there, the W key, D, S and A in a different color. I don't think there's any sort of markings on them. There's no, there's no sort of dimples on these ones, so it's purely just a difference in color. And then you can see the G keys along this side. So these are the programmable sort of macro keys along this side of the keyboard. And then you've got your regular function keys across the top. And then you've also got media keys in this corner and a little roller, LEDs here. And then we've also got illumination key just here and then up the top here, we've got some controls for the display. And then this is the display, which gives you various in-game stats. And this is uh, tiltable. So you imagine you've got your keyboard on your desk, you can actually tilt this little LCD display up and down to get the good viewing angle on it. Now, with regards to how this feels for actually using the keyboard, this has got more of a mechanical feel to it. Um, and. A, quite a bit more travel and more profile to the keys than the Steel Series one. Now, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing is a personal preference, um, but it just feels very, very nice. And not, it's not a bouncy feel, it's just more travel on those keys. So you get more of a definite push on the key when you're using it. Now, I'm not an avid gamer by any means, I will divulge that to you. I don't sit and play hours and hours and hours of games. I'm more of a casual gamer, but I do appreciate that this would probably be better for prolonged periods of time. Not sure why, it just feels as though these keys um, are just more responsive 
Does that make sense? I hope it does. Uh, it, it's just a very nicely laid out keyboard. One thing I didn't like, and I should give you another close up of this, is there's a little sort of a branding piece of silver here. And that just sort of got in the way. Don't like the way they did that at all. I just don't like it. it when you're using the keyboard, it rubs against your hand as you're moving your hand across the keyboard. So if I was gonna pick up on a negative thing, get rid of that, get rid of the silver bit, it's horrible. The actual display is very useful. This sort of, I was gonna call it a heads up display, but this display that gives you some um, uh, information, sort of in-game information is actually very useful indeed. I thought it was quite gonna be quite gimmicky, but it is a really useful bit of kit. And when games support it, it's really cool to have some stats come up on that screen. So this is the G19S from Logitech. Very, very high-end gaming keyboard. So again, if you're into your gaming, check this one out. It is a beast of a keyboard. Very, very impressed with it. Let's pop that back on the desk. And we have got the last product of this particular video. And we're gonna end on another Steel Series product. And I've got this just up here. Let me just get the cable out and show you these. Now, headphones or gaming headset, very, very cool in white. Let me just take them off of the box. Show you the box first of all. These are the Steel Series Siberia version two USB powered headset. Now we've got microphone built in as in here. We've got programmable frost blue illumination. Uh, we've got a pull-out mic, which I just mentioned, inline controls. Uh, we've also got USB-powered uh, sound card, which really does give good and detailed sound. 50 millimeter drivers, uh, and they're also PC and Mac compatible, which is a good thing in my books. Let's pop that at the back and show you the actual headphones. So I'm gonna show you me wearing them first of all. They're quite large headphones. Uh, they go on this way round and very very comfortable over ear design really really comfortable to wear for prolonged periods of time nice amount of padding as well and rather than there being a lot of padding across the top it uses this sort of uh, sort of string mechanism which puts a bit of material across the top of your head really very very cool and we've got the pull out microphone on the side here so we can adjust this bend it get it into a good position really nice way of doing the microphone. I'll give you a close up look at this right now. So we can see here, we've got the microphone which is on this extendable bendy arm. And then when it's not in use, it pushes back into the cup on the left ear. Nice amount of padding, as I mentioned. And then this is what I was on about with this uh, sort of string wire type mechanism. So rather than you having a padded headband, as you pull this up, if I can get a good angle for you, you can see those wires actually extend. So extremely comfortable to wear. And then it's hardwired, so not a detachable cord. And then this cord's got some inline controls as well for muting the microphone, volume up and down, etc. And then we've got the USB connection on the end of the cable. Now, actual quality of the sound, I use these, and I always do this with headphones. I use this for a bit of gaming and the sound was just fine. When I'm gaming, I say the sound was fine because I'm never looking for that ultimate quality when I'm actually just playing a game. I'm looking for in-game voices and in-game sound effects and I get immersed into the gameplay rather than immersed into the sound. But I also use these for a little bit of music listening as well and they perform really well. A nice detailed sound, nice amount of bass, uh, mid tones absolutely fine, all the little pings and and, and high frequencies came through nicely in the music. And when I was playing an actual game, those high frequencies really did come out with some great detail. So really very, very impressed. These are the Steel Series Siberia version two. Uh, and I love the coloring, of course, because they're white. And I, I like the white because all my desk's white. The Mac is sort of silver and, and very sort of um, delicate in its coloring and these just match really, really nicely. Now I will mention that these particular headphones, they do lots and lots of different versions of them. So if you don't like the white version, you can get them in different colors as well. So that's it for this gaming special mega gadget collection. 
plenty of gaming peripherals if you're into your gaming and I absolutely love doing these videos and sharing them with you. I hope you enjoy the full length videos on the Saturdays. Thank you very much for watching. Please do subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on my future videos and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.